I promised I would hang out at the band festival with my friends today. Oh gosh. All right, the band festival. I'm going to beat everyone here. Hmm, when can I see Fana? <laughs> You've no interest in me at all, do you, Michelle? No. Nope. <laughs> well, at least Katie's here for me, right? Right. Sure. Yeah, knock your socks off. Keep my socks on. I'm sure you will. Oh my gosh, it's Cam. Yay, go support him. Cam, nice to see you. Hey there, are you here alone? You mean no deadly brother of theirs? Or the little bunny that tags along with him? No, I have another loving family member with me. Simon? Why? Why? Good to see you too, little bro. The feeling isn't mutual. Ari? It's okay, Cammy. Ari, I'm not itching for a fight. I just wanted to hear you play. You're playing Grandma's song, right? Oh yeah, who lost her voice? Exactly. That's why I don't want you here. Ari. Sorry, Cam. I gotta go. Sound check and all. Come on, Michelle. What about me? What about Katie? Aren't I important? Um, okay. Wait, don't clench my arm like that. Ow. Ari practically dragged Michelle off somewhere. Sorry, Simon. You too, Katie. I'm sure that wasn't a pretty sight. I fight with my brother all the time. I've experienced worse. I'm sure you have. Rude. <laughs> Go away, Bunny. Bunny, you're here too. Don't worry, we're not here for any trouble. I cast an illusion on me and Simon for good measure as well. She's just here to keep me in good case. I see. Since Katie can see you, I guess you've managed to make new friends. I'm glad. She's not my friend. Shut up, Bunny. You are the worst, meanest psychic I know of. Bunny... Of course, he goes and chases her. Did you know, because I read up on it, did you know if you pursue Simon's route, you actually have to become friends with Bunny? Like, they're a package deal, which I understand for best friends, but she's like 12 and a lady who's like really obsessed with him. Anyway. Well, I'm glad they both like you. Bunny does not like me at all. Simon does, and I can tell that Bunny is on the fence, but she'll come around. He seems to know Bunny better than I thought, so he must know about their involvement in the syndicate. Correct, but why is he so calm about it? You're probably wondering if I'm fine with Simon and Bunny. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm like, don't look into my head, Cam. Simon told me about you. Well, what he knows anyway. So I assume you know about them too. They're not bad people, you know. Not all of them. Especially not her. She's just a kid stuck in some horrid circumstances. I don't know. Maybe I just believe in my brother's judgment too much. It's certainly better than mine. His judgment on women is pretty spot on as well. Huh, what is he hinting at? You don't get it? Wow, you're slow. <laughs> what? Never mind, just let me handle it. You like me or your brother likes me? Oh, yes, I want to do all of those. Your brother likes me? Yeah, right, the guy hasn't even figured out I'm the opposite sex yet. Oh man, I meant he, I thought he meant Simon. Obviously, Ari. Uh, I won't say. They're both pretty dense in that area, especially our youngest. However, I would definitely understand if they both fancy you that way. You're quite a lady. Oh my gosh, are you blushing? What? No, just, no one's called me a lady before. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Excuse me. Oh, oh man, what is it? A valued customer of mine made quite the tall order today. I was going to work on it after Ari performed, but she's already waiting in front of the store. I already put a close sign. A woman doesn't know how to take no for an answer. Would you record Ari when you perform for me, Katie? I gotta go. Leave it to me. All right, thanks, Katie. And Faye, hello. So I guess it's just you and me. And Faye. Oh, and the crew is back. <laughs> hello there, pretty lady. We meet again. Hey there, Katie. Right? Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Eric and John. And who's the blonde kid again? Um, Felix, John's little brother. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hey there, cutie. Oh my gosh, Faye has the biggest crush on Felix. <laughs> Katie's pet is hacked. Oh, shouldn't that be reported? Report me and I'll punch that face of yours. <laughs> Wait your turn. The sun is setting anyway. Be patient, princess. So, Katie, you're here on your own? Ari performs and Michelle is backstage. Luna's with her. Wish I could go with her. 
Hey, ask him about Michelle, would you? I don't think someone's ex is a conversation starter. Just do it. So, Eric, I heard you and Michelle dated. What? I was going to say, like, no, she dated John. And that's true. It was her. They used to be fiancés. Remember how Michelle had that ring at the beginning of the game? Like, that was one of the opening CGs. I'm not that low to steal another person's fiancé. Ex-fiancé. Why did she mention me? Did she fall for my charm? I'm sure she would. If I could have the self-confidence of Eric, I would be very impressed. What? Fiance? Michelle never mentioned anything about a fiance. I know. I'm supposed to be her best friend. And she still hasn't shown up for me to tell her about the heartbreaker crap. Hmm? When I think about it, Michelle said that she hides stuff from you as well, huh? When was that? You know, when we found out Ari had siblings? Maybe this is what she's been hiding from us. I mean, I understand not everyone likes to exploit their love life. I guess so. It's still a little shocking. I can't really see Michelle as the young bride kind of gal. Maybe it was arranged. Your engagement to her. Was it arranged? Yeah, but it went down the drain, as you can see. We barely knew each other. I see. Because I want you, John. She can't have you. Look at his little smile. He's so cute. I love it. Although his brother is, like, scowling in the background. Hmm, I guess Michelle's parents wanted to secure her future. I mean, by his pet, John looks loaded enough. Why don't you ask her later? Yeah, I think I will. I don't know if I know her well enough to, to be honest with you. Like, look at my little love meter. Okay, so where's Michelle? So we trust each other a lot, but our affection is like a stranger. She's a non-mutant and she's dying and I know nothing about her. So our trust... Oh, we're good friends now. Well, that's good. I don't know how to hang out with Aaron ever. Barely know. Barely know. John is a best friend. Oh, and he's a secret holder. I knew I could do it. Grace. I don't know why. She believes in me, but whatever. Oh, was this the crazy lady that we saw, like, robbing someone? Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to this year's band festival. Mono? She's the MC. Yes, apparently. We have an amazing lineup for all of you today, including this year's special guest, Fana. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. As usual, the first prize winner will get 50,000 Omegas and a trip to the Thousand Island. Oh, and for potential cheaters backstage, our stage is shielded with power neutralizing force fields. <laughs> so sirens and riety fans, don't waste your time. Let's just have some good old-fashioned fun. Now enough talk, let's get this thing started. Liberators, you're up. Um, hello, vocalist. You look very serious, but I love it. Testing, one, two. Oh, the vocalist is really cute. By the way, I wonder where Bunny and Simon are. What do you mean? You think they're up to something? I don't trust them is all. Yeah, me too. Especially because I'm not dating them. And I say them because you end up having to date both. <laughs> Hello everyone, we're the Liberators, and this is our original song called Chaos. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Are we gonna hear a song? It's gonna be a real song? Oh, I guess not. They're pretty good. A bit too loud for my taste. Oh my gosh, I, I just love Eric. Ivy? What the? Who's she? I think it's Eric's pet. His cockroach turn turned into this chick. <laughs> so you're the cockroach chick. Love it. This song has disturbing frequencies. Quick, close your ears. What are you talking about? It's bad, but it's not that bad. Hey, what are you doing? The heck? What's going on? <gasps> There's blood? No, I hate you. Felix, what's wrong? Eric is knocked out cold. What's gotten into him? Katie, something's not right. I feel weird. Furious. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I hate you. Every one of you die. That's terrible. <gasps> Felix, what are you doing? Are you trying to be a total banana pants? And it looks like his jacket's trying to eat you too. It looks very suspicious. A pocket knife. Uh-oh, now Eve wants to kill everybody. Eve? What are you talking about? He's just a kid. <gasps> Uh-oh. Awake. And there's a foxy. 
Awake. Oh, he... Wait, what? Have you gone insane? He's using his power too. Ivy managed to protect Felix, slicing both creatures in half. Plan B. A sli sleeping gas. Uh-oh. We're angry about that. I'll destroy you. I'll kill all of you. Whoa, what is going on? <laughs> the gas isn't going to save you. At least what's-his-face isn't here. Um... Simon, who would just destroy everyone immediately. Motoric ability is still functional. The gas is ineffective. Have you gone insane? Ugh. You were too entranced by the light in front of you. But you didn't even realize everyone else was already murdering each other. Murdering each other? Are you serious? Who is this guy who is singing? The unexpected blast missed you by a hair, tipping you off balance. You lay on the dirt as you watched the horrid sight in front of you. People were burning alive. One man stood with a twisted grin on his face. What are you going to do about it, Blondie? This. Achoo! What? Whose head is that? Whose head is that? <laughs> what is going on? He cut his head off. This has taken an extreme turn from what I expected for a battle of the bands. I didn't think it would legitimately turn into a battle of the fans. Oh man. This is perfect for Halloween. You guys enjoy. Come back here. Let me kill you. What is happening? Ha! Alright, who's next? You're insane. Kinda digging it. Come here, you twerp. My pleasure. Hey, where are you going? Felix ran towards the, towards the flames? He ran towards the flames. Altering weather now. Rain? She did that? She's magical. Come with me. If you want to live. It's night. Ugh, I can talk. Let me out. It's my turn. I must kill everyone. Let me out, you piece of trash. Thank God. <laughs> She's like, I'm keeping my psycho spirit in, in check. Um, uh, what's going on? John? Stand back, Eric. He's been brainwashed. Brainwashed? What? No, I'm okay. He's telling the truth. I'm okay too. See? Because we're both possessed. <laughs> I see. Perhaps the victims revert back to normal outside the music's reach. I'll kill all of you. Well, that theory's wrong. <laughs> Eve is like, I'm nom nom. We shouldn't assume things. Maybe John and I were the exception? Yeah, what she said. What are you talking about? What happened? That musician. His voice hypnotized the crowd to kill each other. Felix knocked you out before you were influenced, though. What? But the force field. Something interrupted my signal there. That same signal is what made all the pets there silent and not do their job. Now that you mention it, your pet hasn't spoken a word. Wake up, Faye! Hello! He's like, Javi? They're quiet. Don't press your luck. They're both practically dead. What? She better not be dead. How come you're up and running your mouth, then? She's a special model. More importantly, where's Felix? I couldn't grab him. I tried to teleport everyone in that area, but something messed with my frequency. Ha 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 ha! I can't call the police. I couldn't even teleport you guys to the dorm. This is only a couple of meters away from the festival. It's not safe here. Even you are affected, Ivy? No wonder the force field didn't work. They must have hacked it. Wait, what about Luna and the others? Yeah, I thought Luna was your homegirl. Michelle and Ari? Ivy, can you call them? Luna? No. I haven't tried Michelle. She has a phone instead of a pet. Her number is... Dialing. Connected. Hello? Michelle. Katie. I am so glad to see you. People tried to kill us. Ari, he... he. Michelle, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> Get in charge of your fiancé here. I can't. They're outside. I... I... Michelle, deep breaths, okay? Luna. <gasps> They're together. You gotta keep your voice down. Let me talk, okay? You press on Ari's wound. <gasps> Ari, no, no. Luna, are you okay? Where are you? Just, I'm hiding in Fana's waiting room. Ari and Michelle are with me. Me and Michelle were waiting together, then Ari sneaked in when no one was looking. The room was soundproof, so we couldn't tell what was happening on the other side. Next thing you know, there was blood splatting on the door. People started to kill each other. 
A man with laser eyes busted the door open and shot Ari in the gut. A lot of people stormed in after that. Ari's coins spilled everywhere and blew up. The ceiling collapsed. Oh my gosh, this is like the most dramatic battle of the bands I've ever heard of. The ruins are the only thing blocking us from these maniacs outside. They don't seem to notice we're in here yet. We tried to call the police, but... Ular? Ular? I, had, I don't know what that is. Is that your pet? Is down and Michelle's cell phone froze each time we try to call someone. What's going on? One of the band entries jammed all the pets and hypnotized everyone. Everyone is killing each other. I love how he has a smiley face during that. Like, ah, you know, it happens. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Ari, is he okay? Some of the debris hit his head. He's unconscious. His right leg was pinned, but we moved it somehow. Ari. Oh, she's like, hmm, are you interested in him? Luna's voice got softer. I used Ular as a knot to stop the bleeding, but Ari is in pretty bad shape. He's losing a lot of blood. I hear you. Where are you, crazy person? Luna. Those nut jobs are still lurking for us. <laughs> They're lurking around looking for us. That's like a little, uh, what's it called? Alliteration. There's a storage room here, but it has no lock. If things get worse, I might have to lure them away while Ari and Michelle hide in there. That's too dangerous. Don't get cocky. I'm not. I'm terrified. I know my powers are out of whack and martial arts mean nothing against superhuman powers. What are her powers? I can't even remember. I just know that she has the snick because we got tied up by the snick. <laughs> but Michelle's freaking out, so I can't. And there's also no way I'm going to let Ari die here. I have to be brave. Look, I know it's scary and I'm probably selfish for asking you this, but... Please, you have to save them. Luna, gaining some favor points with me. Love it. You can't wait for the cops. You need to get Michelle and Ari out of here, quick. Even if that means you guys have to endanger yourselves. Please, save them. I see a light through the crack here. Where? Where? I imagine that's where they're like, they're breaking through. I hear you. Michelle, you and Ari hide in the storage room now. What? But what about you? Just do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love you guys. Tell my mom I love her too. Stay safe. Oh, Luna. Hey, old man, you want a piece of this? Yeah, let's punch him in the throat. No signal. Eric is unpleasant. Luna, we have to save them now. It's a massacre out there. We can't go without a plan. Well, then we'll make one as we go. My gas can my gas can stall them. I just imagine him like really having bad VO. No, it can't. I tried knocking them out with sleeping gas, but it seems their olfactory receptors aren't functioning like they're supposed to. I think the song has some enhancing effects. It doesn't just take over one's mind. So not only do we have a sea of the psycho killers, but we have a super enhanced psycho killers. Great. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is the season. The quickest way to save Luna and my brother is to stop the sea singer. Correct. Oh, what are we waiting for? Let's beat the crap out of him. You're going to need help for that. Oh my gosh, is it Simon and Bunny? Hello, my super chill people. You people. Who are you? Kitty, John, you know these two? No. That tall dude is Ari's jerk of a brother. The girl is practically his pet. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you said that. That is so not who they are. And Simon like saved your life. <laughs> The name is Bunny, and he's Simon. We managed to flee the scene like you guys. Bunny read the singer's mind just in time, too. We had our earplugs the entire time. That vocalist is a psychopath. He's doing this for fun. Chaos. So the vocalist isn't from the syndicate? They could be lying, or the syndicate didn't involve them. Eve, you're calming down. I love it. My brother is in the building, right? We have a plan to get him out, but we need your help. I think I can cast an illusion and get the crowd away from the stage. Hopefully away from each other, too. I have to be in the crowd to actually cast an illusion involving that many people, though. I need someone to watch my six. Your six? I don't even know what that means. Meanwhile, I go and save my brother. There's no way I'm letting you go in there alone. I don't trust you with Ari. It's his brother. What are you talking about? Fine, then the rest of you stay with Bunny. Watch your back. Affirmative. I'll try to subdue the crowd as well. Hopefully I'll be able to restrain them all. Ivy is rocking it. First of all, Eric, 
best invention ever. Earplugs came out of Ivy's hands. Whoa, cool trick. Here, John, Katie, Eric, you should wear these. Thanks. You sure are a fancy robot, ain't you? John, bring Luna back safe, okay? You bet. John is your man. He will take care of the band. Da 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 da. As you sneak into the war zone, things have gone from bad to worse. Blood, bones, dead bodies being trampled on. Whoa! People killing each other. It all makes you want to puke. I can't spot Felix. The only way we can save him is by beating the vocalist. He stopped singing, but everyone is still at it. He must know how to reverse it. We must make him talk. If Bunny hurries up with that illusion, wait for it. He's like, don't you dare talk back about that about my friend. Wow, that's cool. Whoa. Is that music? Oh, it's just people shouting in the background. It's beautiful. Wait, what happened? Where is everyone? Where am I? Come back, your pigs! Oh, you're angry. It worked. The people can't see each other. It won't hold long, though. If Bunny tries, tires out, or loses her focus, it's all over. Besides that, just because they can't see or hear each other doesn't mean they can't feel each other. Something touched me. Take this! See? Come on, we have to go now. I know where we're going. How? I've been trained with her, so Bunny's illusions won't work on me unless we touch each other. <laughs> I'm fine. Leave me alone. Let's go. Right. Hey, you. Hmm? I'm guessing you're the ones who created the illusion. Who would have thought you have the nerve to come here? After that, I've sent my mates down to hunt you guys, too. Oh, well. You think you can stop me? How cute. I got this, Katie John. You save Ari and the rest. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll be fine to go. I think Simon can progressively destroy this man. Go. Be safe. Come on, John. It's quiet. Yeah, where is everyone? Look out! Awake! Oh, hello. Very interesting. Some pile of rubble almost hit the two of you. Luckily, John was able to deflect it with his shield. That shield? Where did it come from? Oh, uh, it's my power. <laughs> It looks like it's made out of paper. Didn't Oren make a room out of paper too, back in the ball? John, are you? Katie, you're not. Go away! Oh my gosh. I thought it, she was like, she had turned into crazy person. Anyway, it's Luna's voice, so go away! <laughs> Come on. Ah, right. Yeah, you know, our friends are dying, no big deal. Luna. Oh, he had a little fun face down there. J John? Luna. John. John and Luna held each other in a tight embrace. Back up. He is my boyfriend now. You okay? Yeah, I had to use my powers on some people, but I'm okay. Um, I'm usually not a buzzkill, but where's Ari and Michelle? Right. Follow me. Katie. Michelle. Katie. Ari. Ari is... He's dying. Monochrome? You. This woman found us here. She helped tending to Ari's wounds, but he lost a lot of blood. Ari. Is there a pulse? You reached out and tried to listen for any signs of life from the man. I can't hear anything. No. Ari? This can't be happening. Is there nothing we can do? There is. Huh? Monostaff glows a bright red. If you're willing to pay the price, I could bring this boy back to life. A price? What do you mean? I don't mean money. It's something from you. But you won't feel a thing. I assure you. Wait, this is... Let me at her. She's the same as that red-eyed devil. Is she? The one that got me into all this mess? Uh, the body shape's a little different. Wait, this is all way too suspicious. I know about healing powers, but bringing people back to life? There's no way. Even so, he's our Ari. We can't just let him die. I'll pay the price. Just bring Ari back. Michelle? You don't know what you're getting into. I'm sick anyway. Let me do this. Um... 
I don't know. I'll let you do it. Very well. <laughs> Am I the worst friend ever for letting Michelle do that? I'm like, ah, I already gave up some stuff. Oof. Ugh. Blood? What is happening? Your mouth tasted like copper and there was this horrible smell in the air. That's the least of your worries, though. A blue gem shard turned red in your hands. That was a clue, wasn't it? Something about blue and red. A gem shard? Good deal. Wait, you're sober now? When I was put into your body, a blue pendant was inserted as well. But that shard was blue, then it turned red. What does that mean? I have no idea. What? I said I'd pay the price. You did. That was just a side effect on her part. Guess Milady was right to choose you. What? The woman disappeared into thin air. Katie, Michelle, oh, what's going on? Am I late for the show? Ari, you're okay. Oh man, Luna looks angry. No way. Whoa, Katie, Michelle, what are you? Why are you two hugging me like this? Not that I'm complaining, right? Oh, you're crushing me. Ah. <laughs> We're just happy you're alive. Ari. Simon? Luna. <laughs> Cockroach. The vocalist got away, but everyone seemed to have snapped out of it. Felix? He's safe. With Ivy. She also teleported everyone else to my hospital. Well, anyone alive, anyway. Wow, that's heavy. The police are on their way, too. Police? Can someone tell me what's going on? Can you please explain that to me, too? You're awake. Yeah, but how did I black out in the first place? You took the time to fill Ari in on the details. You decided to skip the fact you made a deal to bring him back to life, though. Wow, seriously? Man, I must have put you guys in a lot of trouble. I'm sorry. Well, at least everything's okay now, right? Yeah. Everything is fine. You could have told him about the deal. You might feel bad about it. I mean, the last thing you'd want to hear when you're resurrected is we made a deal with the devil to bring you back. Oh, hells, it wasn't really the devil, was it? I don't know. Things have been weird since you came along. Exactly. Now the main question is, why? Hmm. So the vocalist got away. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? <sighs> do you guys want me to go back and, like, see what happens if I do things differently? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I want to kill the vocalist, but I won't. <laughs> I'll calm myself down. You spent the day talking to Ari and Michelle. The rest just took off on their own. Katie was too focused on Ari to care about the others. Oh, hello everyone. Not yet. I told you I'll take care of the divorce as soon as possible. But it isn't possible at this moment, alright? I'll make it up to you tonight at the usual place. Don't worry, my wife doesn't suspect a thing and I assure you she won't. Excuse me? I'm going to play along. Did you forget our special place? Why, the Love Hotel, of course. I love you, dear. Let me ravish you. Mrs. Reinhardt doesn't need to know. <gasps> Who's Mr. Reinhardt? I don't even remember. <laughs> we can bathe together if you like. I'll wash away all your insecurities away. Unless you want to, it to be dirty. Why don't you talk dirty to me? Um... Oh, that's so gross. I'm gonna go back. I can't go back. Dirty, huh? Ooh, dishes. Ooh, the laundry. You're not Madeline, are you? <laughs> this is so sad and wonderful all at the same time. I'm gonna my new requests. What do you need? Oh, a shady guy. Good. I need someone to make an item for me. Um, I'll pay them in big omegas. Come alone. Oh, that sounds perfect. Shady guy. Perfect. Details. Some cops threw my friend in a juvie for vandalizing. I need to show them that we aren't afraid of no cops. Boom, boom. Maybe we'll finally meet the, um, relatives of what's-his-face, the cop. I can do it myself, so I need someone else for the job. Sure. Why not? Your parks, except for weekends. Whatever. Anyway, we survived the Battle of the Bands. Huzzah! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to like or comment, because it makes my day. 